Wow. Hi! It's your boy. He's back. He's sitting. It's late. It's 4.07. And I'm tired and alone. So I'm going to yell about fanfiction. It's my pastime. It's been my pastime for an inordinate amount of time. Too many years. Anyway, <laughs> I decided to do- delve into um, movies. Because, well, of course there's going to be fanfics based on movies. And there's, like, it. I was looking first for Marvel. I was like, there's got to be some bad Marvel fanfiction. But the top of the page was st- Star Wars. And, like, yeah, yes, yay. Um, so we're going to read Air of Darkness, a Star Wars fanfic. Air of Darkness, colon, a Star Wars fanfic. Just so you know, he is being serious. It is by Silverstorm X23. Let's just let's just go literally right in. I look, I know a little bit about Star Wars. I watched the movies. I'm not a huge fan. Uh but I know some of like the background stuff cuz like that's the neat part, you know what I mean? So, we'll see whether I even understand any of the things. <laughs> a Star Wars adventure following a young force-wielding boy seeking revenge and showing his journey to power. 13,589 words. Why are these always so huge? Uh, Author's note. 21 BBY, which is like bef- before something. It's a, it's a date thing. You know... You could use a different dating system than the one that we have in the Gregorian calendar, which is find an important date and have a before and an after. But that's not the fanfic's fault. That is the fault of Star Wars. So, you know, some people are more willing to let that slide. I'm not. I'm still upset about it. There was a slam on the door. Open up now! A voice yelled. Another slam, period, space, period. Vaxor's mother was he 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 vaccinates his children. Vaxor's mother whispered, "Get us out of here! Use the back draw." Oh. Oh. I got confused. Get get out of here! Use the back door. Run and don't look back. That's what he looks like. Sound she, it sound he it. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> no, Vaxor replied. I can't leave you. His mother stared at him for 30 seconds. (laughs) Go, or they'll kill you! She started to sound frantic. She drew her lightsaber, a white crossguard blade. Didn't we have a problem with that when it was like the new thing? How it's like, there's still a space on the crossguard for the lightsaber to cut through? So it wouldn't work as a crossguard? Well, the entire cross guard would have to be a, a, like a lightsaber beam, and that that wouldn't work. You know what? Just have it at the bottom of the saber part itself. You know, like have a little T there. I'm tired. I'm getting confused, and I'm talking weird. And um, <clears throat> I cough. <laughs> this is not entertaining. <laughs> Which makes it very entertaining. As the door exploded, she ignited it. Okay. And Vaxor hid in the closet. Clones stormed into the house. You are under arrest for the murder of a Jedi Knight. Ilum crystal trafficking. I assume that is the thing that causes lightsabers? I don't know. And manipulating the dark side of the Force. You're not a real fan because you didn't capitalize Force. Sorry. Surrender now and we'll give you a quick death. A voice spoke to the clones. Move aside. I want to speak to the witch herself. A Jedi with big dreadlocks and yellow eye paint stood in the room. Very descriptive. My name is Quin- Quinlan Voss. I hail from Kifu, and I am a Jedi myself. I wish to speak with you. The clones look confused. We're supposed to take her in for execution, not talk. 
They all sound like that because they're clones. Silence, he said to the clones. Turning to Vaxor's mother, he said, I have, uh, what was it? I have heard of your power. Yeah, there it is. I have heard of your power and wouldn't like to see it wasted. I'll let you go in exchange for one thing I need from you. The boy. Never, she growled. <laughs> Voss frowned and signaled for the clones to open fire. Is this taking place in like a room? Like a like a bedroom? I In my head it was a bedroom or like a hotel room. I tried to play the one... Um, like the the RPG like game that people are like go play it, but I it uh I didn't get all the way through it. It doesn't look great. I like games when they are very pretty. It is one of the things that I enjoy. Uh, she put it so open by the the mother. His mother flew at them, raising. <coughs> <laughs> rising, raising her blade and began striking at them while deflecting lasers and cutting down trooper after trooper. However, one managed to shoot her in the back. She misstepped, and a second later they were all upon her firing until she stopped moving. She got kill. No! Vaxor screamed. Because, you know, ob obviously that is what happens <laughs> when you are about to be killed as you scream no when your mom gets shot. No! I've never screamed no at any... No, I did once. I dropped a plate of ramen or a bowl of ramen and it broke. The bowl broke. And I was like, no! Because I wanted the ramen too, specifically. Voss turned his voice. Find him and bring him to me. Vaxor closed his eyes and began to cry. Good. You know what? Good. I'm, I want more children to cry in fiction because they never do but in the real life in the real world they do all the time about everything just just they are a mess of tears anyway he was angry his rage fueled him empowered him he raised his hands like his mother had taught him and blasted the door off his hinges this is the child from the new movie who you force yoinked the broom to him. That is what it was. That is what who he, this boy is. Surrender now. No way. What was the clone? Surrender now, or something like that. The <laughs> clone yelled. Vaxor raised. Vaxor is like not the right name. I would have thought about it a little more if I were you, but that's just me. Vaxor raised his eyes to look at him. They were glowing red. The clones? Or the eyes? You gotta clarify. <laughs> he raised his hand and closed his fist, and the clone's neck snapped. Voss's eyes widened. He used the force to pull his mother's lightsaber to his hand. He ignited the white cross guard blade. You already said that. Also, I've never seen a white lightsaber. It probably exists in the lore, but it's not cool. I would prefer like a color <laughs> because that's cool and he glared he raised it and slashed it across the first one's chest dropping him he impaled another then threw the blade into another's throat i don't think so i think you are a child he force pulled it back to his hand to block a laser blast deflecting it into the helmet of another trooper voss watched smiling Shoot the clones, boy. They are here for that. Please, do more. I am recording this. <laughs> How come our technology is, like, more advanced than half of the technology in Star Wars? Have you... Is there a recording device in Star Wars ever? I think there's, like... There's, like, vaguely recording devices. Like, there's the one which is, like, the, 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 the hologram. But it was, like... We can do that with smaller things now than, like, a floppy disk or whatever they had. I haven't watched those movies in since they came out in 1977. So, take that as you will. Where was I again? Uh, oh, after finishing the majority of the clones, Vaxor pushed out against Quinlan Voss. <laughs> That's also, like, not the right name. Is is that just me, or is everyone picking up on that these are not the correct names? Okay. And the last few... And the last few troopers, and they smashed against the wall. The room began to shake. It's the devil! Get out of there! 
He raised his hands and the roof began to crumble. He brought his hands down, which brought the roof down on the colognes. The whole building crumbled down as Vaxor exited through the back door. Vaxor through the back door. Classic. Number one. I'm going to vomit. Ready? No, I'm good. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Voss slowly rose and yelled, Find him! That's what it says. The clones began to run off after him. Vaxor kept running down to the city. People gave him odd looks as he passed. He stopped, grabbed the ladder, and climbed up onto the roof. What roof? Where? What city? What planet? What is happening? What does it look like? I... I... I am forced to use my imagination while processing your story, and it's like I'm doing all the work. I'm lazy. I'm the audience. You're supposed to spoon-feed me stuff. Not themes, okay? You know, not metaphors. Those are supposed to be subtle. But for the details of the thing, I'm not supposed to come up with those. That's your job. You're the author. What was I talking about? Where was I? This is a train wreck. Vaxor watched anxiously as a clone set up a warrant. If I think about it too hard, I'm going to hurt myself. He hoped he could trust these people. What people? Who and where? No one said a word as the clones grew angry. As the clones grew angry, what... The clones chased him into a city, set up a warrant, which doesn't mean anything. I guess he means the people of the city? Finally, one man told the leader where Vaxor had gone. Crap, he thought. Crap is the word that means sad, he thought. The (laughs) the clones sprinted to the ladder. They began to climb up. He used his lightsaber to slash the ladder at the top, then kicked it over, making the four clones who were on it crash back down. They drew grappling hooks. That's not a good paragraph. There's a lot of things wrong with it. The sentences are very short. There's some weird, like, voice play. It's strange. Vaxor began to run across the rooftops, which were connected one after the other. You mean to one another, not one after the other. They were connected to one another. By the time the clan, the (laughs) clone, the clans, by the time McLean got to the roof, Vaxor was three buildings ahead. That's because he vaccinates. He two stayed back and and began to open fire, but they were terrible shots. (laughs) Aren't they, aren't they clones of a bounty hunter and his brain is the same? You know what I mean? Like... Aren't they clones of the bounty hunter and they specifically did that because he was good at fighting? Okay. Three began running after him. He was faster and knew the terrain by heart. But then how come you didn't know the people in the city and whether they would be nice to you? You just knew the terrain. You'd been to the city running around before, but you didn't at all stop to examine the people. Finally, he jumped off a building, right as the clones were about to catch him. I'm, I'm so tense. He, ju- he, ju- he jumped in a lumpster. <laughs> he landed in a dumpster, and he clambered out as the clones began to open fire from the roof. He ran out of the alleyway and headed into the crowd. The clones jumped into the dumpster one after the other and began to make chase. How come you can do one after the other here? No, you did the same one there. One, one after the other is is wrong there, and it's okay here. Okay, okay. No, I had to think about it. And began to make chase. To give, to give chase. Chase is something that you give and are given. You do not create it. You're not a god. You're not Apollo. Do you even know what an Apollo is? I don't think so, no, sir. He headed for the port, his heart pounding. He ran across the rope bridge, pushing people over, even into the river below. He's morally gray. <laughs> they might have died. I don't know how high the bridge is. The clones got rope bridge. This is Star Wars. Wouldn't they have, like, a good bridge? <laughs> the clones got onto the bridge. <laughs> they began doing the same as Vaxor, knocking people over to get to the other side. It was only a matter of time before they caught him. Ready to make a leap, Vaxor slashed the bridge and jumped, barely managing to grab on to the other end. You just need to hold the end that you're not, like, like if you cut it in half, you hold the side that's closer to you and you don't need to reach for anything. 
The clones splashed into the water along with multiple civilians, and they all died. He used the end of a bridge of the bridge as a rope to pull himself onto the ground above, I assume. He had finally reached the port. He looked around and saw a junk ship ready to depart. Hold up. I can't tell whether this is clever. A junk ship is a real type of ship. Like, it's... It, uh, the Chinese junk is like a, a very small ship from like the 19th or 18th or 19th century or whatever. Is that intentional? Or is it just a ship that is bad? I can't tell. But I'll give like... I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, and here's some props for that one. <laughs> he used the force to push himself off the ground and into the back as the doors closed. The doors... Oh, it was... Oh, ready to... Cut it. Okay. The only thing to see... Th the only thing... The do hoo 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 Me too, man. Me too. The only thing to see through was a little dark tinted window. Now he was in the dark. Now he was soggy. Now it smelled awful. But now he was safe. That's called anaphora, and don't do it unless it's really, really important. <laughs> because it's a little silly otherwise. Trust me. I know from experience because I have used bad anaphora. I almost said anathema, which is also a word, but different, and not the same one as the one I was talking about. Anyway, my name is The Audible Blink, and this has been... Um, let me find the thing... This has been Air of Darkness, a Star Wars fanfare. And it's got more words, and it's got a couple more chapters. And I think that maybe I'm going to continue reading it tonight, because I want to stay up um, so that I can go get breakfast, which is my favorite meal. I love it. Anyway, I'm back!